The objective of the project is basically to try and engage a community in developing sort of maybe ownership of, of a space that might have been taken over by somebody else. I mean, a lot of times these walls are covered with graffiti. This one was at one point completely covered with uh, graffiti and gang signs. And the, the neighbors or the people who live in the building decided that they wanted to try and restore the wall back to something that was not like just sort of, you know, just gibberish. is that not, that not that the artist or the facilitators perform the art, but what's really important to us is that the community comes out and does it themselves. It's really fun. Like getting up on the ladder is really fun too. Even though I'm skin planks. So how did you hear about the project? Uh, Defy. What is Defy? Defy is a drug education for youth program. It teaches you why you should be on drugs or be using Yes. Hi, I'm Elma. I'm the vice president of the Tens Association down here. And the walls look really beautiful. It's nice to see the community come together and doing things. Go ahead, my little granddaughter doing her name. Hi! <laughs> So the idea was to bring in an artist and have and work with the community and try and come up with a theme, put the theme on the wall, and 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 it's done as a paint by number. So a lot of people can be involved in the painting. People seem to really become excited when they get this opportunity to to paint in the lines. You know, people feel like they are really creating art, which they are. They had so much fun painting. This project is part of uh, something that's called the Alley Action Project. And we had funding for this specific one from the Arts Center of the Capital Region through the New York, New York Federation of the Arts or something. Yes. So we've gotten a grant through them to uh, basically pay for the artist, give the artist some kind of stipend because you really can't expect an artist to just volunteer their time. Right? They're, you know, they're a professional in that sense, so we want to pay the artist. And it also, by having a professional artist, it really gives the, the drawing a little bit more uh, sort of substance. What the Alley Action is really about is helping communities understand that they can take ownership of their public space, uh, that the streets and the parks really all belong to us, uh, the people, and uh, if they take ownership of it, then they're more likely, and they're involved in improving it, then they're more likely to uh, maintain it and respect it. It's, it's really about everybody taking back their own space, adding something beautiful to it. There's a few others that we had done uh, in Troy that were uh, a little smaller scale than this, but somebody had come along and put graffiti on the wall next to it, but not on the mural itself. So I think that there is something about this kind of work that uh, people will, will respect. Sid and Barbara from Alley Action had contacted me because they had seen my art. As far as choice of images on the wall, I tried to have a, a pretty diverse range of things. I had uh, different artists, you know, like Frida Kahlo, I had some hip-hop artists, some jazz artists, and I wanted to represent a pretty wide range of culture and cultural figures and people. And in the centerpiece, like we wanted to be a tree of life with a banner that says Taylor, you know, for the Taylor apartments around it. So, um, you know, I just wanted to make it something positive that represents a lot of different people and a lot of different cultures. But yeah, painting is the best.